Yo, what is up, my lovely tigers? My name is T.E. Red Tiger, I think known as Tony, and welcome to Life is Strange. Last episode. I just recorded it. Last episode. Bottles, Gunshot, Frank, Strain. Yeah, Bottle, Gunshot, Frank, Strain. Hello, Principal Wells, you Sir? nugget. Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. It ain't. Talk to Nathan. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you, have talked, you talked to him, to him yet? yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. <laughs> Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. <laughs> hassle Kate? I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. You're standing here. You don't have a meeting. I'm gonna, I'm checking all of the answers right now. Sir? Speak. Oh. No. No. Never mind. Glad to see you weren't about to accuse another student of something or other. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, that one was boring. Sir? Oh. Let. Yes, he... I can't... Please don't say... Come on. There you go, surveillance. Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen. Oh my goodness. You know what? Watch this, watch, watch this. Ooh, wait, actually. Should we? I need to rewind or stop. Should. Let's get. Should we, should we accuse Mad? Should we, should we accuse him? Because I'm pretty sure if we accuse him, we'll get more in trouble. And then once we get proven right, he'll get in trouble. Yeah, I have a, I have a picture of him doing that. I can. Wait. No. Yeah, it won't work. Fine, I'll do the surveillance. Poster, look at. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. Yeah. Well, luckily you aren't. Justin always looks stone. Doesn't look that stone. It's the invasion of the Vortex Club. Into the Vortex Club coming soon. No thanks. I hello, Principal Wells, you Sir? nugget. Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. It ain't. Talk to Nathan. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you, have talked, you talked to him, to him yet? yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. <laughs> Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. <laughs> hassle Kate? I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. You're standing here. You don't have a meeting. I'm gonna. I'm checking all of the answers right now. Sir. Speak. Oh. No. No. Never mind. Glad to see you weren't about to accuse another student of something or other. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, that one was boring. Sir? Oh. A letter? Yes, he... I can't... Please don't say... Come on. There you go, surveillance. Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen... Oh my goodness. You know what? Watch this, watch, watch this. Ooh, wait, actually. Should we? I need to rewind or stop. Should... Let's get... Should we... Should we accuse Mad... Should we, should we accuse him? Because I'm pretty sure if we accuse him, we'll get more in trouble. And then once we get proven right, he'll get in trouble. Yeah, I have a, I have a picture of him doing that. I can... Wait. No. Yeah, it won't work. Fine, I'll do the surveillance. Poster, look at. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. Yeah. Well, luckily you aren't. Justin always looks stone. Doesn't look that stone. It's the invasion of the Vortex Club. Into the Vortex Club, coming soon. Nothing scary. Uh, Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. Yeah. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. I won't. I won't. That's what Victoria wanted. Yeah. I noticed she kind of set up her own drama. Even if it fucks her over. Weird. She doesn't have to, though. That's what I don't get at all. She's hot, rich, talented. What more does she need? Anyway, see you at the game Friday, Max. Oh yeah, wait, will we make it to Friday? Will, will there be a game on Friday? That snow was so Are you sure about that? I'm going to find out what happened to you, Rachel. Yeah, we will! What's this? Does anybody believe this shit? Stop being a loser. This is where us get real. Don't miss it. This 3rd, 10 October. Vortex Club, end of the world party. No. Okay, just, no. No way. No. Hmm? Oh, hey! It's you again! Sup, buddy? How's it going in Ephesus for family? Okay, just walk away from me. Desperate much? We're already uh, here. Like no. Uh, posters. Join us or die. Don't say the truth, Max. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. Courtney will do anything for Victoria and the Vortex Club. Oh, that hey, Courtney. Else. Hey. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, really? like you care. I do. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Oh yeah, watch this. Nerd. Watch hey, this, nerd. Ciao, Matt. Really? Oh, let- Dress code! I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. 
As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Ah. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. This way I won't have to sneak in, because I'm most certainly going to go to the Board Protectors Club. So you can almost shoot somebody on Monday and party on Friday? <laughs> Prescott Power. All right, peep. Well, yeah, what's up, Trevor? Trevor surveys his domain. I'm going to freeze. <laughs> Good thing I left my AK at home. Now why would Frank Bowers have your bracelet? Why? I should feel lucky to be here. But you don't. If my tornado vision came true, it would be the end of the world. I don't know about the end of the world. It's just a huge... It's, it's just a huge... Wasp. David Madsen! Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? Uh, yeah, you hit Chloe. You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. But you treat Kate pretty bad. I shouldn't have said anything. You know about that video going around. Is that why you hassled Kate yesterday? I took a photo of that moment for surveillance sake. Soldier, you don't have the facts. You think I'm a hypocrite because I want cameras around here for the safety of the students? That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Yeah. Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Hmm. Let's go with the other. Okay. Do you mind? Uh. Yeah, Chloe. You. You're a c if I What about Kate? What about Kate? <coughs> I shouldn't have said anything. You know about that video going around. Is that why you hassled Kate? Soldier. That'll take more. It will take more than. Isn't that. I don't. Hmm. Okay. Oh, enter the work. Ew, These gross. elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. I saw Victoria and her friends shopping for the party. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. Mm. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Mm -hmm. Yo, what's up, peeps? Miss Grant, what's it doing? What's Ms. poppin'? Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the word teacher. Warren, what's... How's it going, Bring dude? brain, Igor. There's Mr. Wizard, hard at work. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful, yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Okay, and then... Weird science. Aha! Big brain. Oh, wait, actually, what if? Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily this rounds? This can't be that hard. Uh, Warren. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. 
Not me. Not me. Warren doesn't need my help. The boy knows things. Experiment. I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Mmm, I was really hoping... Come hey, Warren. Me. Yo. Maxwell. Asking... I have to... Uh, lots of potassium. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Let's see what red sodium do you Hey, Warren. <laughs> sodium. I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. Got it. So it is potassium. I got it first try. Hey, Warren. Ha. Ask. Ha. I act. I legit got it first try. I am the smart. What? She blinded me with science. Yo, Brooke. I have to finish this lab, Max. Sorry. You're missing your chance. I'm trying to help you. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks hey. again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. So, experiment. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. Oh. How's your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You, like you yeah. must like photography. I do, but I'm certainly no artist. I'm all about the science. You can't debate numbers. I yeah. have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. Ah, uh, snow. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Okay, Miss Grant. You, you need to survive. You're pretty cool. Uh, Warren. Yes! That was a blast! But, let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Okay. Okay. Hey, War. Maxwell. Asking. Have that. 
chlorine. Wrong Let's see what chlorine did. You need to add chlorine, not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Oh, you guys really broke the bounds of science. Okay. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full-on geek mode. Yep. But I'm telling you up with Chloe and Brooke is gonna get Warren. So... And I got my picture. Hey, Warren. Maxwell? Listen, peoples, I don't care. Lots of people. I actually... See? She blinded me with science. Now let's see, do I still have that picture? Do I still have that picture? I do! Oh! I'll read all that stuff on myself. You can look that up later. I wish I could bring a mini Warren with me to my science exams. Walk up? Nope. Not yet. I love how Evan is so above the Vortex Club and everything else. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? Yeah. So you can't help me? I'm trying. But you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Okay, sweetie, you okay? Jefferson, what did you do? Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me, I'm worried about Kate Marsh. You're not the only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? Uh, hmm. David and Kate. I saw David Madsen harassing Kate yesterday. He was scaring her. Mr. Madsen confuses fear with security. I I'm sorry. Kate had to be a target of his paranoia. If you had proof, I could talk to Principal Wells. Oh, oh yes. I have an actual photograph for once. Let me see that photo after class. You're already thinking like a real photographer. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Yes. Kate is freaked out Kate great. is freaked out by great. all of this. Kate. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. <laughs> she seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. That was private. That was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. What did you do? Mm. 
Missing poster. I wish you and Chloe had run away earlier. Yeah, to be honest, yes. Hmm? Oh. Oh, wait, no. Oh, okay. And then, yeah. Alright, time to hit glass. Ah, uh, poster. I guess I'm out of time to turn in a photo for the contest. Irony. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Then right. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? You look like ass. Photo. All right. Gotcha. Oh, Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Contemplating what? What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. I did. Loved it. Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Look at That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. Okay, peoples, how's it going? Hayden. I'm Suck. kinda doing something now, Max. Alright. Dana. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. You bet you're right, I can! No time to talk, Max. Art in progress. I just finished talking, people. Get ready, efforts. Come here. How's it going? Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you yeah. think we were best friends forever or something? Not one Not bit all, now. Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, no. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. Assholes. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. All right. Photos. Hey, wait. Not after this now, okay. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Looks so normal. Anyway, sit. Okay. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Dude! Now this is so wrong and weird. Dude! Okay, I need to get out. Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> Warren, what? Ew, what's happened to your face? What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on uh, her plate. Yeah. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> Shut up! She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. I guess Kate will miss class now. Maybe it involves a student? I'm worried about her. 
I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his Usually, own little book of photo people tapes. People need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. Okay, come on. Yeah, yeah. We hurry can up, thank reality hurry up, TV hurry for hurry up. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for particip- Chloe. Box the boss with my gun. Maybe illegal in Oregon for now. Warren. Hey girl. I'm in a science lab now. I'm no Scrooge Dinger's kitty. Participating. God dang it. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective yeah. precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen! Go! Everybody remain seated. Shut up, Jefferson! Not right now. Dismissed. Did you see that? Is this for real? It slipped out! I didn't think she was... What's happening? What's happening? Oh my god! Kate! Oh god! No. Oh god! She can't die. She can't. Ugh. Not again. Not now. Whoa. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Not right now. Now, oh, 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 what's happening? Come on. Keep going, Max. You can do it. Let's go. Graf. Graf. Come on, you're like the flash. Can't do it in here. Go to the roof. Go to the roof. Yes. to do this by myself? Did you come to get another Pulitzer shot like yesterday, Max? I wanted I proof. I only wanted proof that David was harassing you. More like you wanted another shot for the Max Caulfield scrapbook. You want another now? Huh? No. Please, Kate. You know me better than that. And I know you don't want to jump. But I do. My life is already over. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Oh, Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. You're my friend. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. 
I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Okay. You're too dangerous for us. Crap! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, hold up. Okay, okay, okay. Too dangerous for us. I wasn't sure. Gathering more proof. I needed time. Too dangerous for us. I believe you, Kate. But it's dangerous for both of us if I get involved now. Like everybody at Blackwell, it's all about you. Even when I'm the victim. No! 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 I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield. Why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little Shh. Are you gonna take this troublemaker's word over your security officer? Except I have proof. Here's a photo I took of David and Kate yesterday. That's not... not proof. Hold on. This isn't a courtroom. But I feel it would be in the best interest of Blackwell and this situation to put you on temporary leave. We will continue this conversation later, when the police finish their own investigation. Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh! This is major bullshit. I led troops into battle, and you're letting this punk lead you? No. I am sorry, David. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, you. please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again.
Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week.
Anaerobic.